Hello, Internets. Today I'm going to talk about weird gadgets for writing. I'm Charlie Hudson, and you are watching Reandertal. So, first up is the Alpha Smart Neo. I don't believe these are manufactured anymore, but you can still find them on eBay. I think I got this a few years ago for about $30. Uh, the best feature of this guy is that it can do almost nothing. You can't check your email on it. You can't check Facebook. You can't even really elegantly edit anything that you write. The one thing that this will allow you to do is write. Um, basically, it's, it's a keyboard with a little word processor program, um, and it runs on, uh, I can't remember, uh, maybe four AA batteries, three or four, I think. The Neo can store eight different files, and when you connect it to your computer by USB, uh, or, or maybe by infrared, I've never done that, but, but by USB, um, your computer will recognize it, as a keyboard, and when you hit send, it will send the contents of the file um, as if it's a person typing really fast. It's not a very sophisticated solution, but it does what it has to do. I've done a fair amount of writing with this, especially when traveling. Um, the batteries last almost forever. It's lighter than a computer. <laughs> It's a whole hell of a lot cheaper than a computer, so I, I worry a lot less about chucking it in a bag. And because of the two-button on feature, you have to hit uh, on, off, and enter if you have that feature enabled. Um, there's a lot less risk of um, turning the thing on and wasting it. And it's a pretty rugged device. I presume that this mine was used by a school before. You can see um, numbers written on in a paint marker, um, 255 and 3, who knows what that means. Uh, so it was probably used to teach kids how to type, and um, it's just a great little device. It doesn't do anything more than it has to, and it doesn't allow you to do anything more than you should be doing, which is just writing. Next up is this True Grip Mobile QWERTY um, Bluetooth Keyboard. This is my new favorite writing device, um, but it does have some big flaws, so I'll, I'll just go over those. So the basic idea behind this is it's a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, you take a device, in this case I've got a really old iPod Touch. Um, I used their uh, adhesive-backed metal thing so that I can affix it to the keyboard. Um, I, th I think you may have to do use a metal back. Um, at some point there was a talk about like micro suction or something like that. Um, and there is this film that I haven't bothered to take off, but I peeled off a corner. It doesn't seem to be really sticky, so I'm not, yeah, it's, it's not sticky really. Um, so I think magnetism is, is the, the only method you're going to have. Well, that's fine. Um, and then you can hold this in your hands. This is a QWERTY keyboard. If you picture a QWERTY keyboard and then just turn it. Um, and then you can be typing away. Um, I tend to wander around as I do it, which is fantastic. Um, and you've got a few keys on the, the back here as well. So I'll show this in a close-up. You see I've, I've taped on these letters here. Actually, underneath the letters that I've taped on are the, the official letters of the QWERTY keyboard. I've actually got the Dvorak layout um, taped on here because that's what I type with. Um, and I, I, I tried to reason with these guys. Um, that the, Who are the people that are going to adopt uh, a weird new keyboard style. 
I thought it was people like me who use weird keyboard layouts like Dvorak already. Um, but they, they went with QWERTY. At this point, it's fine because I've learned the layout. I don't, I don't really refer to these taped letters at all, except for J <laughs> for some reason, which I can never hit. I actually was able to learn it um, pretty comfortably within, I'd say, an hour, which was surprising given how difficult the first five or ten minutes were. Um, but now I really don't even think about it, um, so that's nice. It is a bit of a pain to sync the keyboard with my little ancient iPod Touch. Um, I find the best method is to open up the Notes program, which is what I use, uh, and get the cursor where I want it, and then turn on the keyboard. Um, and once I start typing a few letters, um, the, the iPod will usually recognize the device. There is sometimes some lag, so I'll be typing for a bit, and if it doesn't show up, I kind of wait, and three quarters of the time it'll all show up in one string, uh, and other times it, it doesn't, so that's a little frustrating. But it, but it mostly works. Um, the biggest flaw for me is the fact that the on-off is exposed, so I find it, it sometimes turns on in my bag and empties. And then especially these four keys at the top here, I say four, the fourth one is right here. Um, these are, I'll show this in a close-up, these are exposed. And so when they go into a bag, it's really easy for them to get knocked. And it's just these little tabs that are holding them in. And on this one, actually, one of the two tabs has broken up. And on this one, actually, one of the tabs has broken off. So I can, I can stick it in, and it'll stay on for the most part, but it's likely to fall off again. And this is actually a pretty big flaw in my mind, because for me, the main attraction to this keyboard is that it eliminates the need for a desk, right? I can type and walk around. That's nice at home, but it's a huge deal if I'm traveling. And the fact that there's not a really safe way to carry this while I'm traveling really takes away from the, the biggest benefit of this device. So I love the concept, but I really hope um, that they can improve on this in the future. And then if I was to go full on wish list device, I would actually love it if someone would cross these two devices. I love this guy. It's rugged, it doesn't do any more than it has to do, and the batteries last forever. If someone could make something like the Alpha Smart Neo, but with the reverse keyboard grip, and, and maybe a Dvorak option for the hour or two when you're just learning how to type with that layout, in my mind, that would be the dream device. Um, so I'm still waiting on that. But in the interim, uh, I will be happily typing away with these two devices. So there you have it, two weird writing gadgets. I hope a few of you found this helpful. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.